Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Coder Scholar. So this is the second video of our series on IPy widgets where I will be covering Output Widget. Output Widget is one of the most important widgets available from IPy widgets where we direct the output of various functions which can be text, charts, images, audio, video files and so on. So without further delay, let's get started with the coding part. Right, so as you can see on my screen, I have already launched Jupyter Notebook and at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted the important sections of the tutorial. So these are the sections that uh, we will be covering. And in order to get started with uh, IPy widgets, you need to install it. So you can use pip install IPy widgets to install IPy widgets. So first of all, I have imported IPy widgets and printed the current version on my system. So it's 8.0.2 and it's the latest version. All right, so let's get started with the first section. So in this section, I will be discussing a simple use cases of uh, uh, output widget where we will try to add simple text and few other things to output widget. So simplest way to create output widget is by calling output function, which is available from IPy widgets. So that's what I have done over here. So as of now, as you can see, this widget is empty so there is nothing as of now in this widget and in order to display things like charts and text and so on inside this widget we can use this uh, out variable output widget variable as a context manager with python with statement as you can see i am using it over it over here as a context manager and i am simply printing uh, output or uh, text output so let me execute this cell and as you can see as soon as i executed this cell this text was added to the output widget display and let me add one more text so it will so as you can see as i added this second string second text and it got added below the existing string so once you define the widget and you if you keep on calling it uh, like this as a context manager and keep on adding things they it will add things uh, one below another so right so that's one example so it's that simple to create output widget so here is one more example so what i have done over here is that i have declared a function formula which takes three arguments a b and c and it simply calculates one random formula and prints it so we can call the functions as well and the output of the function which is this it will be displayed in the widget as well so let me execute this cell as you can see if we call formula with 111 then output is 22 which got uh, appended to out widget all right so that's a simple text but with output widgets we can display many different kinds of things like uh, video html markdown and many other things so from ipython display we have a function name youtube video which we can use to load any youtube video in jupyter notebook so, and then we can display that video inside output widget so first of all i have simply created output widget over here as you can see video out and then i have created a youtube video object with the video id and then i have called display function so display function is another function available from ipython which can be used to display different kinds of object which can be video html image and so on so let me execute this cell and as you can see as soon as i executed this cell video out as you can see this is the video so it's one of our previous video which i am displaying over here so you can display videos like that as well in output widget here is one more example where i have simply created a html with h1 tag hello world so let me execute this one and as you can see as soon as i executed this uh, inside of this widget video out it got appended over here below this video so currently this video and this html are in the same output widget so let's go ahead and add some more values over there so over here i am uh, loading a widget so it's an image and i am displaying it in the same video out uh, output widget so let me execute this cell and as you can see that uh, image got appended below the html right so that's how you can add various text 
image html and so on inside output widget and you need to declare output widget like this and then you need to use it as a context manager it's that easy to declare so we displayed a video html and image but there are many other things which you can display like filing you can display code audio and so on right so let's move on to next section so in the next section i will explain how you can capture the output of a function so as you can see i have again declared same function formula which takes three parameters and in order to capture the output of this function so this formula function as of now printing the result of the formula but this can be anything it can be chart as well created from matplotlib bokeh and so on so in order to capture output of this function we need to use out widget which we declared output widget as a decorator and then we need to call capture method of that widget so let me execute this now if you call this function formula the result won't be printed in output as you can see ideally it should have printed over here but as we have added the decorator over here the result got added over here in this out widget you can see these were the strings we appended earlier and then we appended this value of this output function so yeah so you can use decorator as well to capture the output of the function so that's the one more way to add uh, data to output widget so let's move on to third section so in the third section i am explaining how you can create output widget using interactive output function so i have already discussed interactive output in my previous video so if you are interested feel free to check it so i am over here what i am doing over here is that i have first of all imported interactive output from ipa widgets same function declared then i have created three widgets and then i have called this function interactive output with this formula function and then i am giving a dictionary over here where i am providing value of these parameters as a widgets so we can change value of this widget and output is gui so this gui is a output widget and then we can call display function to display this uh, widgets and output widget together so let me execute this cell and as you can see we have created a ui over here and as i change the value the value is getting updated and this is the output widget so if you want to check type of this as you can see it's output widget right so let's move on to fourth section which is clear output widget so till now what we have done is we kept on adding values to output widget and if you want to clear and the values whatever is present in the output widget so how you can do that so as you can see over here currently we have this value in this output widget and gui we have 88 so how we can clear so there is a function called clear output which you can call on the widget and it will clear the output of that widget so as you can see we were able to clear now if we keep on adding new things then it will be added from scratch in this empty widget anytime you want to remove any values all the values then you call this function clear output all right so here is one more example let's move on to fifth section so in this fifth section i am explaining how you can direct the output of a function which can be a chart so over here i am directing the directing this matplotlib chart to output widget so for that i will be using interactive output function as you can see so i have imported interactive output matplotlib.pyplot and numpy and this function takes two parameters m and c then it creates this line formula so it first create a hundred numbers then using m and c values it calculates y and then it simply displays it so i have created a float slider over here as you can see two float sliders which will be the used to change the value of parameter m and c so i am calling interactive output over here with this function and then i am giving parameter as widgets so let me execute this cell right so as you can see the output of uh, this function is a widget so as i change the values you can see the chart is getting updated so as you can see it's that simple to direct the output of a function which can be chart to output widget 
all right so let's move on to sixth section which is append data to output widget so currently i don't have anything in our widget because we already cleared everything using clear output function but we can use this function append underscore standard out to direct uh, text to our widget so till now i explained how you can direct output uh, various values to widget using widget as a context manager or you can use as a decorator so this is the one more way of adding data to widget so as you can see i am adding i am calling append standard out three times over here so let me execute it as you can see it added this test text next to each other so it simply appends whatever is there the new string and there is a one more function name append standard adder so this function can be used to direct the tag trace error or error trace you can direct using this function so let me execute and as soon as i executed it as you can see it displayed with the red background because append underscore standard error right so other than that we can add html and image and so on as i explained earlier earlier so in order to add those things to the output widget there is a function name append display data and over here you can directly give the widgets uh, widgets so uh, this html and so on display functions so over here i am adding html so if you remember from earlier when we first added this html to a widget we called this function display now over here in this case if you are using this function append display data then you don't need to call that uh, function it's uh, synonymous to that so as you can see append display data so let me execute it and as you can see the hello world html got appended over there so let's go ahead and execute this cell where i am appending image so yeah so as you can see below that text and then there is html and then we have image all right so here is one more example so over here i have created a markdown so let me add it as well so as you can see below the image the markdown got appended so you can append many different type of data to widgets as per your need right so let's move on to seventh and the last section of this tutorial which is style change so till now we displayed whatever is there in the widget as it is but you can change the style of the widget as well so as you can see this is the current values present in our widget so in order to change the layout or style of the widget what you can do you can call layout attribute you can set its value as a dictionary and so this is a css values if you have background in css so you can add border so over here i am adding a border of two pixel and dash and green color border so let me execute it as you can see this added the border around our widget so we can see like where our widget is so the, here is one more example i am modifying the width of the widget width and height so let me do that so as you can see as soon as i modified the width and height the width and height are changed and so that's the one way of setting the layout or styling of the widget now you can provide layout parameter when you are creating output widget and give it a dictionary of the style information so that's what i have done over here so as you can see i have created a one more output widget which border is two pixel solid red line width is 100 pixel and height is 100 pixel so you can provide style detail at the beginning when you are declaring output object as well right so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial I explained how you can create and use output widget available from IPA widgets. If you have any doubts or questions, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you liked our video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and see you next time.